everybody and welcome to the first episode of the collection series. This is where I'm basically going through all my systems and showing off what games I currently have. And if in case you haven't realized by now, I am Reptile 7 from Deadly Aneurysm Gaming. The first console that I'm doing obviously is the Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah. Okay. No more being retarded at least for the moment. Anyway, this sadly is not my original Nintendo. My original one had just completely broken down and couldn't be saved at all so we ended up buying this one when it first came out which was a lucky I guess. I don't know I never had to go without a Nintendo but uh yeah maybe about 10 years ago I came across a yard sale where somebody was selling four of these Nintendos for like a dollar. I ended up grabbing them and fixing them all up I sold the other three for like, I don't know, I think like five or ten dollars a piece. So, made a nice little profit for a kid. And uh, the only problem with this one is that it has a faulty power button where, I don't know, I have to hold it some weird way to get it to work. But yeah, both systems still work and I enjoy them greatly to this day. And moving on to uh, avoiding that mess over there that I kind of made digging all this stuff out. So you can see I have a couple of games there, a box that is obviously full of games, some books, and the accessories for it. Let's see, down here I got the plug. I think this one is actually the original plug that came with my first system. I have no idea what happened to the newer one. Probably just set it off to the side somewhere and it got trashed one day. But uh, yeah, that's gone. Then we had this little adapter so I could actually hook it up to a TV. The great part is that you could plug something else into it too. Which in my case at my home was the Super Nintendo. Go ahead and hook them both up and whichever system got turned on first. Was it first or second? I oh, don't know. You could only play one on the TV obviously. But you could always switch back and forth between the systems. That way if you got sick of a game but didn't want to lose all your progress. You could go on and play something else and just leave the other system running. Which uh, I'm actually pissed about because I ended up finding out I had some games for the NES that ended up saving themselves if you turn the system off a certain way. Then I've got, let's see, I've got two of the original controllers. These were actually both with my original system as well. And obviously not much to show there, it's an old NES controller. I think one for some reason has an extremely long cord though, so obviously that's the other one that I had bought that didn't come with the system itself. I think this one might be the one. But yeah. Then the newer little... Let's go ahead and get that unwrapped. The new slim version controller. And honestly, I never really liked the feel of this controller. It felt really cheap and... I don't know. It worked. I guess that was a plus. It didn't have to be cleaned out like my other ones, but oh, something about it, it just... The Nintendo's 8-bit. It's supposed to be squared off, okay? Not this rounded crap. That's not until the Super Nintendo. And then, of course, like I'm sure mostly everyone, I have the light gun. Which, sadly for me, is the orange one. I wasn't born soon enough for the gray one that apparently looked like a real gun. Yeah. However, back in my old neighborhood, there were plenty of the gray guns laying around. I don't know why I never picked one up and tried to fix them, but apparently somebody raided a company or some store at one point and just whipped a bunch of old Nintendo stuff into a ditch, and it all pretty much sat there until it all got buried and probably destroyed, but... I'm sure at the time I probably would have been able to save at least one of them. They weren't that badly damaged. And, you know, before we get to the games, I can show off that I do actually have some of the old original instruction manuals. Castlevania one, I was actually lucky enough to get when I found a copy of Castlevania. Whoever ended up selling it decided to hold on to it just as long, so... I was lucky that I've been able to get that. I think that's the only one I've ever gotten with a used game. 
see, then we got see Ninja Turtles 3, funny story with that one when I get to the game, Super Mario Bros. 3, Ninja Turtles 2 Arcade, Bubble Bobble, Pinball Game, where uh, Mario does actually have a name, but the woman up top is not Peach or... Who's the other one? Daisy, I think? Yeah. Yeah. In this game, she's just called Lady. Mickey Mouse, because I was obviously a kid, and you know what? This game was actually pretty fun. Krusty's Funhouse. Kirby's Adventure. Dr. Mario. Donkey Kong. Bartman. Tiny Toon Adventures. Also fun. And let's see, this is the old original guide for the old Mario and Duck Hunt that came bundled together. And the control deck guide, because apparently you need to know how to use a power and a reset button. Yeah, I really honestly don't know how the hell you could have an instruction manual this big. For a system that old. There was nothing to them. You plugged them in and they worked. Anyway. Uh, let's try and get a little more comfy here. Starting not with these games. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. How I have them all set up. Let's go with. First game. Baseball. This is actually I think the. Only baseball game. Aside from one on the virtual boy that I own. So, yeah, not a big fan of the sport, at least. This game was actually a good time killer. Got that one. Up next. Bubble Bobble! As you can see, I have a little Link sticker down at the bottom. That's actually on a few of my games that I consider to be my favorites at the time. And, uh... Yeah, Bubble Ball, Bubble, blah, Bubble Bobble was extremely addictive, and I loved playing it. I think I actually popped in like a couple months ago and spent like a few hours just playing it. Just that pile. Let's see. I've got the original Castlevania. Obviously, this one and the following ones I just picked up not too long ago. I never played Castlevania when it first came out. Not because I wasn't into it, but I just... My parents didn't have the money for all these games, okay? They're easier to buy now. So I got Castlevania 1, 2, and 3. Which, uh, was a nice pickup to get all three of those games. And I ended up getting them when Game Force opened up down the street from me. So, let's see. Those three. Moving on. We got Donkey Kong Classics, where obviously you play the old arcade Donkey Kong, and you also get to play Donkey Kong Jr. You know, you gotta make Mario the bad guy at some point, right? <laughs> Moving on, Dr. Mario. Mario's answer to Tetris. Just still addicting to this day, and yeah, not really much more to say about that one. Killed plenty of time like the others. Here we have Gremlins 2 from Sunsoft. Honestly, in our movie tying game, this is back when the games weren't really that bad. And I have no idea. I don't know what that really says on the back. I got this game used a few years ago. That's just up there still. We've got. Now this one's used, but I got this a long time ago, actually when the NES was still new. But, uh, Harlem Globetrotters Basketball. You could have one to four players. Honestly, I can't remember if there was an adapter for this system or not, but... This game was really addicting, and... Honestly, I don't think there were really that many penalties. You could knock the hell out of somebody and steal the ball from them, and only get called on it, like, maybe... Once out of every six times. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then we've got Jaws. Another game I bought used. This one's in really good shape. Um, really easy game. Has almost absolutely nothing to do with the movie. Other than the fact that...